Hey, what's going on guys? I got a request the other day that was actually a really good idea. Uh, the guy that messaged me said that he was watching a video where someone had mentioned a cab card and he said that he actually had to look up what a cab card was. He didn't know, which stemmed to what paperwork do you need inside the truck as you're operating? You know, just, just to have that what you actually have to have on you, but it's also a step into what you need for a DOT inspection. So let's cover that. And the, and the first thing that I want to mention about that is that if you want to eliminate a lot of headache and start off on a good foot with a DOT officer, you're going to want to buy a binder. These are like $3 and, and it will, it, this sets the stage for your inspection. If you walk in and your stuff's in order, you've already made a good impression. If you walk in and you're, you've got pieces of paper folded in half, shoved in envelopes, coffee stains all over everything, you're starting off on a really, really, really bad impression. So get a binder uh, and this is what you're gonna need to have in it. All right, let's jump right into what you're gonna need. Uh, never mind this piece of paper, that was something I needed and I never took out. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need in your binder, and there's no specific order this has to be in. I just put everything in order based on really how they asked for it. Um, so the first thing you see here is since I am a CDL setup, I do have, this is a cab card. Now I've covered up my info. This is all the registration info. You know, uh, this will be the issue date, expiration date, you know, my name, Vin, all that stuff on there. Um, what you'll see here that you see different on a registration, a typical truck registration. Now, if you're non-CDL, you'll just need the, the registration that comes with the truck, either in your name or the company name. Um, I would put it in the company name if you're operating as a company under your own authority. Uh, other than that, your name's fine. But you'll see that it's got all the states and then it's even it even has, you know, Canadian provinces and stuff like that. You don't have to input this information. Uh, one thing you'll notice on here is that I am registered at 55,000 pounds. The reason I am registered at that, uh, my GVWR combination is only 36. The state of Kentucky won't register anything apportioned unless it, their, their starting point is 55,000. Now for 60,000 and up, you'd need a KYU number. So this is this is kind of like, they don't go lower than this. So 55 is pretty much the minimum for apportion plates. But you'll see that every state's broken down into what you can weigh gross going through that state. This is automatic. You don't have to input any of this. Um, and then if you're leased on, you'll see the carrier for responsibility. This is how you can have your plates in your name but be leased on to someone else, but keep be running your plates. The only thing that the leased company has to be is the carrier responsible for safety. That's it. The rest can, the rest is all in your name. You take it wherever you want to. If you switch carriers or go out on your own, all you have to do is switch the carrier responsible. It's trailer registration, pretty self-explanatory, just like truck, except this is for the trailer. Now, the next thing that you'll have to have is and, and the good thing about having it on here is that you're not going to have to go out to the trailer and pull it out and have, you know, it's all wadded up. It's folded up. Sometimes it goes in a tube. It might get wet. It's, you know, just keep it, keep it on you. This is, but they love this stuff. Okay. Certificate of liability insurance. This is your, this is basically your commercial insurance policy. Got to have that. It's got to be current. All right. For if you're renting an enterprise truck, they come with a self-insurance card if you opt for the physical damage. So I blew that up, threw it in here just because. All right, here's annual inspection for the truck. Annual vehicle inspection. Here's my annual inspection for the trailer. Have to have these, they have to be current. Medical examiner certificate. They're, these used to be cards. Um, now they're just pieces of paper. I guess they've, they've done away with the cards. I don't know why. That was news to me when I got this one. Um, but since it is a piece of paper now, it makes all the more sense to have it in a binder. All right. If you're running a CDL setup, you're going to need your IFTA agreement. This is that's what this is right here. I've covered up the info. It looks pretty, you know, it's pretty blank. But it'll have your account number and all that. Has to be current. Has to be in the name, has to be on the truck. This is for CDL. Um, another thing you'll need if you are running the Enterprise trucks are your lease agreement. You'll have to have that with you. Another thing if you're leased onto a company, you need that lease agreement. 
on you in the trunk. This, these are things you have to have with you. This isn't just, you know, to to save for personal reasons. You you have to show that you are legally leased onto this company that you're hauling for. Uh, I keep a copy of the authority. I'm not sure if that's 100% necessary. You know, uh, uh, almost everybody's got that on their phones now if they need be, but I like to have it printed out just in case. And the last thing that you need to have as far as like a, a binder goes, and this is just bare minimum right here, but this picks people off a lot. And it is the driver card along with the inspection instructions for the officer for your ELD. You have to have this or it's it's not a monetary violation. It won't put you out of service, but this will be a violation if you do not have this. You have to have this. Uh, if you do not have this, your ELD carrier or vendor, whatever, will will have a link or some type of format to download the driver card, the inspection list, basically the instructions on how to use this if the officer needs to see your logs. This has to be in there. You have to have this on you. And that's it, guys. That's bare minimum what you need to have on you in the truck. Of course, other things are, of course, your driver's license. If you have permits, if you're hauling oversized or overweight, or you have a, uh, you've have you got hazmat in order to transport alcoholic beverages and, and stuff across state lines, you know, cigarettes, things like that. Uh, there's different permits for stuff like that, but reducing this all the way down, you know, this is bare minimum what you need in your truck with you at all times. So I hope this helped you guys out. I hope it cleared up, you know, what, what exactly a cab card is. A cab card is specifically for an apportion license, which is a CDL setup. So if you have any questions about it, just let me know. We'll see you next time.